Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to intercept specific requests with OWASP Zap. So let me set up the scenario. So as you can see on the screen, I've got Zap up and running with proxy interception at port 8081. You can confirm the same by going to Tools, Options and scrolling down to local proxies we should say local host 8081 similarly foxy proxies switched on or zap let me log in into the application the user id is admin and the password is admin pass so if i click on login the requests are being captured so let me sort it on the recent requests so as you navigate through the website the tree view is built as you can see we just click on the dns lookup option and it has logged it so there might be situation where you look into the history tab and you want to intercept that request for example we just visited our dns lookup page so, which is here and you can see what request was sent so you might want to capture whenever this page is visited so what you can do is right click on the request and click on break or what you can do is you can right click on it and select show in site tab it will highlight the request in the site tab and again in there you can right click and select break it will show you the following screen it is asking where you want to put the breakpoint so url is fine match is regex and here we want to put when the page is visited so we just delete this and leave the rest of it which is page slash equal to dns lookup slash dot php it is escaping the special characters with regex so if i just select save now and if i go anywhere else in the system it is not intercepting the request so you can toggle security it's logging all the requests and responses, but it is not putting a breakpoint. But as soon as I go to the DNS lookup page, the website shows waiting. The submit and step to next request and the submit and continue to next breakpoint button turn blue or enabled so now zap has put an interception on this request and is waiting for you to investigate or do whatever you want to do now if i just say submit and continue and the response is received by the website so this was an example where you wanted to capture a particular page also if you look into the information window there is an additional tab now which is breakpoints so all your breakpoints which you have put manually they are shown here so you can double click on it and you can edit your breakpoint so let us put one ip address here 1.2.3.5 say if i say lookup dns again the request is being captured by the zap software because 
page equal to DNS lookup appears in the request. So if I let this request go and forward the response to the website, so it says, of course, unknown IP. But if you look at the post message, here is what we sent. Target is 1.2.3.5 and this is the submit button. So let us see how we can capture the pressing of the just lookup button rather than page itself. So what we need to do is go to the breakpoints, double click on it, select the request body, leave the matching as regex and put the string value as DNS lookup PHP submit button, click on the save. Now our breakpoint has changed to whenever we click on the lookup DNS button, only then it will appear. So let's do some other activity so that we know it's not clicking in. If I go to any of the other pages, the breakpoint is not reading. So as soon as I go to the DNS lookup page, the breakpoint is still not triggered because we changed it to submit button. If I now look up 11.22.33.44 and click on look up button, see our request is captured now. This is what we sent 11.22.33.44. So if I just let this request continue and we get the response. Now let us consider an example where we want to capture something in the text box. Say if we change our breakpoint to intercept any request that has IP address in the format 1.2.star. If I click save here, Again, I can navigate through any other page. It should not trigger the breakpoint, although the requests are being logged in the history tab, but the breakpoint is not triggering. So if I now go to the DNS lookup, again, it is logging. And if I try, say, 3.4, dot five dot six and click on the lookup it's it is still not triggering because our breakpoint is looking for one dot two dot star so if i search anything for one dot two dot five dot nine and i click lookup dns now our breakpoint has triggered because it matches the regex so you can do anything as usual you can do anything with your request you can change it to say 999 and let it go and the response comes back with the change ip address so this is how we capture specific requests within os zap if you haven't done already, please do subscribe, like and share the video. Thanks for watching.